Hello, I'm Dr. Janet Six, Senior Product Manager at Tom Sawyer Software, and today we're going to discuss how to add OAuth2 user authentication to your Perspectives application. First, authentication support requires you to have set up and configured an OAuth2 provider. Examples of those providers include Keycloak, Okta, and Cognito. These OAuth2 providers can be configured to work against LDAP systems such as Active Directory or against modern single sign-on systems like Azure AD, Google, and Facebook. In this video, we are using Keycloak as our OAuth2 provider. Our Keycloak instance has a number of groups, roles, and users defined for testing purposes. Once we have chosen an OAuth2 provider and configured its setup, we can add authentication to Perspectives applications such as the one that we see here. Now that your OAuth2 provider is configured, you can set up your TomSore license against it. So let's go through each of the properties that need to be set when enabling authentication on a license. First, there is the authentication mode, which is set to none or on premises. Next is the authentication URL to specify the domain of your authentication provider. The registration ID is the registration of your authentication provider. For Keycloak, this is the realm. Next, we have the client name, ID, secret, and the authorization grant type. The scopes limit an application's access to a user's account, and an application can request one or more scopes. The redirect URI is the location the authorization server will redirect the browser to after the end user is authorized. The authorization URI is the endpoint for the authorization server. The JWT set URI is the token endpoint for the authorization server. And the token URI is used to retrieve the JSON web key set from the authorization server. This will contain the cryptographic keys used to verify the JSON web signature of the ID token. If you prefer these authentication properties, can be set directly on the application in the Spring Property Files instead. Now that you have configured authentication for your license, when you launch the designer, it will ask you for your authentication credentials. Once your login is successful, then you will be able to see your project in the designer. Here we see an application that we have created in the designer. This sample application manages a computer network. And here in the drawing view, you can see where we use the authentication group for the user to decide which type of node appearance they'll see in the application. Let's go see this in action. So first, we're going to generate our web application code. The project ID is the output folder name, Maven artifact ID, and jar name. Here we're going to use authentication example video. The group ID specifies the Maven artifact coordinates and Java package to be created. And the output folder is the location for the generated application code. So we hit OK to generate the files, and we see that they have been created successfully. Let's go take a look. So here we are with a location of the new files. We can see them here in the application directory that we specified in the dialog. Now we're going to open the README file with the instructions on what to do next. Here we have information on how to set up Maven and the commands to use next. We're going to open a terminal at that new application folder that we created. And now we're going to copy the Maven command from our README file. 
We enter that command into our terminal and we're going to build the application. The application build has completed successfully. Next, we're going to start Java with the command given here in the README file. We're going to copy and paste that into our terminal. And now we have started the application. Now we're going to get the location of the server from our README file. We're going to bring over our browser window and we're going to enter the location that was in the README file. And here we are at the login screen. This time we're going to log in as developer A. And here we are in the application. Take note of the node UI that we see here. Now we're going to open a second browser window, incognito, so that we will have a new session for our application. We're going to log into the same server, but this time we're going to log in as developer B. Now let's take a look at the application this time. This is the same application as before, but because we are a different user belonging to a different group in Keycloak, we have the different type of visualization in the drawing view. Let's take a look at the two applications together. Here on the left side, we see the application with the user logged in as developer A. And on the right side, we see the same application with the user logged in as developer B. The same application with a different behavior depending on which user is logged in. In this video, we described how to apply OAuth2 authentication to the Perspectives Designer and applications created with the designer. And we showed an example application that has different behavior for different users. Thanks for joining us. Contact Tom Sawyer Software today to start your free trial of Tom Sawyer Perspectives.